Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Hafiz and I'm glad to welcome you to session number 6 of the Master Planning Series in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. Today we will talk about a new feature called Priority Based Planning. So what is Priority Based Planning? Priority Based Planning is a feature in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management that help businesses to manage their inventory more effectively by focusing on the urgency of demand rather than just the requirement date when items are needed. So priority-based planning looks at what's needed right now and gives each demand a priority number. The lowest priority number, the highest urgent it is. So, for example, a sales order that due in two days might get a priority one. A forecast due next month might get priority ten. Then the application plan supply to cover the highest priority first. So instead of trying to cover everything all the time, we just cover what really matters. And that's the smart part. To set up priority based planning, we need four uh, parameters or four functions. First thing, we need the planning optimization. So, because this feature doesn't work with the deprecated planning engine. So, to use it, you need planning optimization. The next one is a coverage code. So you need to have a coverage group with coverage code equal priority. And the next one is a planning priority model. And from this screen, you will define what to order. And if you want to have one planned order or to split the orders depending on the priority, I will show you this later. And uh, the last one is uh, minimum, maximum, and pre-order point. And you need to set up this on the item level. So let's go to the application and test this functionality. So first thing, this environment has planning optimization parameters. So just to show you this, we have master planning we have planning optimization parameters it is turned on this is the first setup the second setup is to have a coverage group with priority and here i created this one so this one has two main setup the coverage code as priority if you remember from the coverage code session we covered all of this but we skipped these two i this session we will cover the priority code and we set up something called planning priority model and from here we determine what is needed and what is the priority group and if we need to have one order or split the order based on the priority level i will show you this but before going to this one, I will show you the release product. And here we have a released product. We assign the coverage group to the released product. And we have minimum as 10, reorder point as 50. And maximum as 100 on the warehouse level warehouse 13 so also we have some inventory transactions I have two sales order from two different customer and I have some on hand here 10 piece and I have Purchase order still uh, expected to arrive uh, next week, and this will have 
uh, ten bits, and we have some demand forecast. expected on April 30 with 50 bits. So the next one is a planning priority model. Let me create a new one because I want to show you from scratch. So let's create, let's call it priority. Do you want same as the coverage group? And here we determine if we need to define a priority range uh, manually or should we go to the maximum inventory defined. I will define the priority ranges. Do we need uh, a single planned order or do, do we need to split the planned order based on the priority uh, group? Uh, I will split the priority. And I need also to consider the demand period. So here, the from quantity is uh, read only, and it uh, determined based on the two quantities. So here, I would say the first group from zero to uh, minimum, and the second group from minimum to reorder point and the third group from reorder point to maximum point and here i would say uh, let's order 75 only percent so what does that mean so if we have if we need to create a blend orders so first thing we will create a planned order based on this setup we, we split here so first thing we will create planned order to go to the minimum then we will have another planned order to go to the reorder point then another order to go to the max or 75 percent of the max and we will set up here the default priority number for the sales order and i will keep this so basically the uh, lowest number is the highest priority so the sales order is the highest priority then we save this and let me add this to the coverage group so I will go here to the coverage group and I will update this, this one. So let's go to here. So we have here i will sh i will run the blank but i will i want to show you something so we have eight pieces in our own hand we have two orders from two different customer requested on april 23rd so how to prioritize one order over the other one so if we go here on the sales order under the delivery tab on the sales order line details we can set here the planned priority so here i set planned priority one so the other order has planned priority 10 so this mean cover this order first with the available on hand then create another 
purchase order or planned purchase order to cover the other sales order then let's let's update the net requirement so here we can see the on hand will cover order number 888 because this one has priority number one and the uh, purchase order that will arrive here will cover the order number 886 and will cover two pieces from the demand forecast that will uh, be required on April 30 and we have three planned order so this one to uh, to reach the minimum quantity and this one to reach to the uh, reorder point because we ordered 90 but we will consume 48 so after this we will be at the reorder point then we have another one and this one to reach to the 75% uh, of the maximum uh, quantity so the accumulated here after uh, fulfilling all the demands will be 75 pieces which is 70, 75% of the maximum quantity what if we changed we changed this to 100 so this mean at the end after fulfilling all the demand we will have 100 piece let's run it again and see the results so as you can see here instead of requesting 25 piece in the third order we requested 50 to reach out to the maximum by the end so let's change another one what if i requested to create single order so now it's much easier to read first uh, order is fulfilled by this order fulfilled by the on hand and this one fulfilled by the uh, purchase order and the remaining quantity is created to fulfill the demand forecast and then fulfill the max quantity we have also another option here instead of define ranges I will go to the max inventory directly so go here not this one and it's almost the same it created one planned order to reach to the max quantity
and of course you can change what you want here or maybe define other ranges depending on your business scenario we can define other ranges here what i want to see in the future is to have uh, a priority based on customer group because not all customers are equal we need to define maybe the key customer to get their demand fulfilled by the available on hand and the other customers to be fulfilled by other uh, planned orders i think this will be a very useful feature uh, so this was about the priority based planning i hope this feature was or this session was useful for you thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye